Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, I'm currently at 882 subscribers. And as you guys can see right here, 98.5 of you are not subscribed. If you guys do want to help me reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, definitely do leave a like and subscribe. Now enjoy the video. Alrighty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another War Thunder video. Uh, my voice sounds horrible. I'm sorry about it. But, um... <coughs> Alrighty, so... If you guys weren't aware, the Arietes, the PSO, AMV, and the uh, War Ariete have gotten a buff that they all got pushed up is because, as you guys can see now, they get a 5 second reload with the Ace Crew. 5 second reload, that's pretty good. And at the moment, it's 6 seconds. Well, just under 6 seconds. These things used to have like... Uh, I'd say like a seven and a half second reload, 7.1 second reload. Either way, it was seven seconds, a little over seven seconds, okay? And so, which sucked because the poor Arietes do get DM-53, even though, although they don't get as much penetration as the DM-53 on the Leopard 2A7, and had the same reload. But Kaijin decided to actually give the Arietes some love, and six second reload, and aced is five seconds, which is pretty darn good. So, now, yes, sadly, the Ariete and the PSO cannot, can no longer go down to 10.3 for down tiers. Remember, these literally used to be 11.7 vehicles, sorry, 11.3 vehicles, but now they're 11.7, so they can only be down tier to 10.7, which is sad, and that means you'll see a lot more top tier. It gets generation 3 thermals, laser warning systems, yeah, and rangefinder, DM-53 with 623 millimeters of penetration, uh, does get 762 machine guns, can you shut up? Machine guns mounted on the top, along with the PSO, the Arieta AMV only gets one of them, in right, I'm pretty sure right here in the slot. <coughs> uh, this one gets the war kit, which actually is pretty flippin' heavy. And as you can see, normal Ariete, and then if I put the war kit on, it gets a thicker frontal armor. Um, as you can see, composite screen, 140 millimeters. It doesn't exactly save the day, but I like it. So just because we're at a top tier and mobility's king, I'm gonna take it off because at 11.3 you'd have those down tiers where you get shot with DM DM23 and DM33, and usually I'm not saying it wouldn't go through, but a lot of the times. Honestly, it saved me a whole bunch. <clears throat> As you can see, penetration is kind of low and not possible in some areas. The M23. Along with, as you guys can see, the spall liner. So, uh, yes, we'll get right into that. But anyways, moving on to the internal components. You do get spaced armor up front, which sadly you do not get composite armor up front, which composite would be a lot nicer, but you do get composite armor all throughout the turret cheeks, which are stupidly weak, so even in hauled down positions, don't feel safe. Based armor everywhere, basically, spaced and rolled armor, which it's just a mess inside the Ariete. You do get first first stage ammo stowage right here, 15 rounds, and then you get the additional um, chunk right here, like a leopard... Um, like a Leopard 2. Now, you do also get a Spall Liner. Two of them, actually. But if you go to Protection Analysis and, like, you know... Yeah, Ariete with DM, DM33. Look at me. I have 481 millimeters of penetration. I shoot him, and it goes through the composite armor and kind of gets caught by the uh, Spall Liner. And so it spalls... Unless you shoot, like, right in here... Most of the time, it'll spall out and only catch this. So, but that's if you shoot the right side. If you shoot the left side, it's guaranteed like two crew is going to be lost. Or that happens. So, the Arietes do get good gunner optics, kind of. It's 8 to 12 times, so not a big zoom jump, but you're already zoomed in plenty. The commander optics are a lot better if you want to be in thermals but close quarters combat, because it's only two and a half to ten times, so. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Let's see. Your gun is a 120 millimeter OTO Breda 120 millimeter cannon. Yeah. 
You have 42 rounds, which I only recommend bringing about 17 of them. That's all you need. Reloading rate of 6 seconds. Or ace crew, 5 seconds. Which sadly, I do not have an ace crew. All these stats are the same for all three Ariettes. They all get small liner. Same amount of composite armor up front. Uh, same spaced armor up front. Now the difference is the engine. The Ariete PSO and this one right here only get a 1300 horsepower engine and can push up to 40 miles per hour and, and about 29 miles per hour in reverse. While the Ariete AMV gets a 1500 horsepower engine, which sadly I do not have it spaded. I'm sorry. Since it does get the same trans transmission, but this thing accelerates a lot faster. It is 54 tons, 57 tons, and 54 tons. So these two are the exact same thing. This one actually gets a better engine, 1500 horsepower. This one gets 1300 horsepower. And if you do plan on putting the war kit on, that'll tax you another four and a half thousand tons. Four and a half thousand tons. And the Ariete PSO, as you guys can see, only difference is that it gets, um, it does get little shields for it because this is the PSO, which stands for Peace Support Operation. And <clears throat> PSO might sound familiar because Germany also has a Leopard PSO and it also gets, hang on, it also gets composite screens on the side. If you guys look at the Ariete PSO, it also gets some thick composite screens on the side. But wait, they kind of suck. Yeah, 260 millimeters of pen. Yeah, all this is is added weight that will not save you, okay? Peace support operation packages such as composite screens are made for urban environments. So basically these composite screens are anti-high explosive, not anti-kinetic. So these are more for taking up heat FS rounds and heat shells. If you do want to be silly with the Ariete PSO, you can also get the Typo 2, which adds 2,000 kilograms more. So that'll sit you two tons even more. I will go all the way down here with the OF-40 Mark II DM-23 and look at this. Penetration is still possible because these composite screens do not work against uh, Sabo rounds. But if I do decide to bring out a heat FS round, as you guys can see, hits it, explodes, composite screen tanks it. But the sad thing is, you won't be finding a bunch of heat FS at top tier, so just take it off, please. So I think I've done enough labbering. I hope you guys have like, you know, actually figured out what the Ariettes are and kind of how they're good and how they suck. Good mobility-ish. Uh, they have good round, finally a good reload, bad armor, um, good-ish optics. They're not the worst. And yeah, I suppose we hop into the new top tier environment. Funny enough, uh, I actually went and Recorded about an hour and a half worth of footage. Now I recorded all that footage and then I realized I set my recording software to record. So it was literally just me talking over some gameplay the whole time. There were there were no sounds of the gameplay. Which Yeah. I mean I could use it probably in future videos for an overview of something, but Or, of course, an LAVAD. Is he? Oh. All right, let's go with you. Actually, no, let's go with you. Bring a couple extra rounds. <laughs> Uh, yeah. 
that's HSTVL. Here's pushing hard. Uh, let's see if I can get this. Okay, well, there we go. Makes sense. Well, that's my question. Which rock is he on? Got a haircut. This guy needs to hurry up. I mean, wait till I cap the point, of course, but... Nicely done. Oh yeah. Smurf and turf. Wow, okay, that's cool. Wow, someone already has a nuke. What was he? Oh, 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 hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, uh. That is not cool. Oh, that was bright. I really like the, the droning noise of the helicopter that this uh, sound mod gives. 
Oh yeah, I haven't said yet. Uh, I'm using the IWSM sound mod because I've gotten a couple comments about it. You know, subscribe. Doesn't hurt. So. Oh, oh, no you don't. Aw, oh, man. Dang, Merkava's in their engine taking up, you know, half the tank. Man, that is cool. 24M. I I would love to try it out. Oh. What? But yeah, leave a like, subscribe, share this, and leave a comment too. Tell me what you guys want to see me play in the future. Tell me what other kind of videos I should do, War Thunder related, you know. Give me some ideas, please. Oh my gosh, I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Oh, that would have been catastrophic.